You know all those dust storms that kick up everything to the south of town and bring it all toward Phoenix? That's where valley fever comes from. It's in the dirt and just waiting to be kicked up and inhaled. I started to feel really sick. I couldn't figure out what was wrong other than I felt like maybe I'm coming down with the flu. Sharon Philippe did not have the flu. Antibiotics didn't help and the pain got worse. I would wake up in the middle of the night because there was a pain going across my arm. Eventually, the diagnosis, valley fever. Valley fever is a fungal disease, spores living in the dirt in the desert. If you breathe in the spores, it can turn into an infection. Some people feel no symptoms. For some, it feels like the flu. And in some cases, the symptoms are more serious. I wish for death because anything is better than the pain I was in. You can get valley fever pretty much any time the wind blows or there's dust in the air. It doesn't have to be a giant haboob like last Friday's dust storm, but that does help. It's primarily found in Arizona and Southern California. There's treatment, but no vaccine. Not yet. Experts like Dr. John Galgiani at the University of Arizona are working on it. We have a vaccine uh, that uh, we just published a big summary on its current state. It is um, a vaccine that we've demonstrated protects dogs from valley fever. The dog vaccine is maybe a year away. Then they'll try it in humans. I am working very hard to try to get that uh, moving next to humans. Is about a tenth what it would be to get a vaccine for humans for lots of good reasons. And, but that's the, that's the nature of it. So now we need to find the funding for that. That will also take years. In the meantime, prevention is what we have. Stay out of dust storms and dusty areas if you can. And those N95 masks you may have for COVID can also keep you from inhaling valley fever spores. William Pitts, 12 News.